Welcome to Cloudy Nick Crochet. My name is Lori, and I would love to crochet up a storm with you. So please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. In this video, I will be doing a DK weight yarn haul and a couple unboxings along with an update on my moss stitch blanket. Now this yarn you see here, I purchased on Etsy and the name of the shop is called Browning and Wolf. And this is a DK Superwash Moreno, 100 grams and it's called Natural White. And I need to stock up on my natural white um, yarn because in my moss stitch blanket, every five inches, I'm doing five rows of a natural color. So in this yarn haul, you'll see a fair amount of the natural colors. And sometimes I like to get maybe like a natural color with a little bit of a uh, speck of color in there but this yarn was such a good price i got each skein for twelve dollars and fifty cents and it feels really soft and squishy now this skein here i also got on an etsy shop and the name of the etsy shop is called plymouth yarn and it was a DK weight superwash merino. And I've noticed that in my blanket, it's lacking the color yellow. So I thought, okay, I gotta pick up some yellow. I'm trying to introduce all the different colors in my um, blanket. And this yarn feels really nice. This yarn came from Wet Belly Fibers. Now that's a fun name. And they have an Etsy shop. It's 100 grams, 310 yards, a Superwash Merino DK weight. And this one um, was on, I got a good price on this. It was for just over $9 a skein. So I was really happy with that price. Now, let me do a comparison of how this yarn from Wet Belly compares with Browning and Wolf. I have to say the Browning and Wolf is a lot softer than uh, Wet Belly. But the colors are real similar. I really like that natural white color. Now this Etsy shop, they included their yarn in a really nice sack. That's really special. I could definitely um, use this sack for other things. Oh, Lynx. Oh, shall we play with the kitty a little bit? <laughs> so, so let me get, um, get this yarn out. <laughs> and this yarn um, comes from Sue's Yarns. Oh, I got fun colors. I forgot I ordered these. Oh, oh I saw the yellow. And, and another color that I'm lacking in my blanket is kind of the reddish colors. So this is also a DK weight superwash merino. And let me see if there's colors on here. Okay, here we go. We have Sue 19 red and Gazelle. That's pretty. I love the hand-dyed yarn. And then Nina. 
And again, uh, these yarns came from Sue's Yarns. Now this yarn haul came from a website called Love Crafts. Um, I noticed they had a sale going on on the Superwash Merino DK weight yarn, so I definitely had to take advantage of it. So let's go ahead and see what colors I got. I'll go ahead and pull out all the skeins that I purchased. Since it was on sale, um, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna stock up on some colors that um, I don't have a lot of in my moss stitch blanket that I'm making. So here's what I purchased. And um, the brand of this is Debbie Bliss. Rialto DK, extra fine merino wool superwash, and it's 100% wool. And this color here is called, let's see if I could find the color. Hold on one second. Now, this natural color is called Ikra, E C. Are you and I got four skeins of that and then the red is called apple and these skeins are 50 grams the yellow right here this color is banana and I'm definitely lacking yellow in my blanket and then this gold color is called mustard so check that color out and this yarn oh my gosh it feels really nice and this purplish one is called it is scarlet scarlet and the green oh wait a minute now i'm getting confused of the colors one of them is a berry color and scarlet okay oh here comes link okay let's let's start over the green one i believe is apple and then the next two colors this is probably berry and then the red is not apple it is scarlet so that's the skeins that i got um from love crafts and i think i'm gonna um they had a huge selection of different colors in this yarn so i think in the future I'm planning on purchasing other colors um, when my I'm starting to run low on the yarn that I purchased already for my blanket. So there's this yarn here. Now I really enjoy the yarn through the Leather Collection Company. And it was over a year ago, I was subscribed to their monthly subscription box. Now I've noticed through their company, they have introduced yarn clubs, all different types of yarn clubs. So the yarn club that I purchased for the month of August was the Flower of the Month Yarn Club. And this was for August, so let's take a look at this one. And I got my kitty Link here hanging out with me. Ooh, look at that one. That one's going to look really nice in my uh, moss stitch blanket. And this color is Puppy. It's 100% Superwash Merino, 231 yards. So when the um, so in September, 
I think it's sometime at the beginning of the month when they have a few days open for you to go to their website and place an order for that month's yarn club. And for the yarn clubs, you gotta order on a, go in and order on a monthly basis. So I think in September, I might be purchasing some more because one of their um, options um, to order is the DK weight. And I believe you could also order other different weights of yarn. So that is what I got through the Leather Collection Company. And I will leave there um, a link in the description box if you're interested in looking into their monthly subscription box or any of their yarn clubs. The next skein of yarn is coming from an Etsy shop called Yarn Cook. So let me open that one up see what I got and I noticed in my um, moss stitch um, afghan that I'm making I don't have that much green so I keep purchasing a couple more skeins of green so here's the one I purchased that's really nice and it is uh, the color is celery a DK weight, 100% superwash, blue face, Le Chester, uh, 245 yards. Now that's a different, I never purchased this type of superwash merino. Well, actually it doesn't say merino. Superwash, blue face, Le Chester. So it feels really nice and it's gonna work up really good with my superwash merino yarn that I've been putting into my um, blanket. So the next one is coming from Southern Skeins, which is an Etsy shop. And this is the Not Sock Yarn Box. They also have another subscription for the sock weight um, yarn. This one I got is the DK Weight. So let's open that up. Ooh, look at that yarn. <laughs> let's check out that yarn first. So it's, it's right there on top. Wow, that that is pretty. Um, it is uh, Going Nuts Southern DK 4 ply 245 yards 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. Oh my gosh, that yarn is so soft. And look at the colors in there. That is gorgeous. And this is for the month of August. And if you're interested in subscribing, I believe you go into her shop and you subscribe on a monthly basis when she's taking um, pre-orders for the fall, for the next month. So that's for August. And she gives you a little goodie bag too. That's always fun. Oh, look at the cute little stitch marker. I collect stitch markers. I have a, a wall hanging that I put them on. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, wow, we got a lot of fun stuff. Oh, we got a little sticker. And I'm gonna put that on the back of my iPad. So I'll set that aside. And here's our stitch marker. <laughs> Going nuts. And we got some tea and happy hands, hand cream, and some laundry um, uh, detergent, and a little piece of candy. Okay. Oh, the dad's root beer. 
I remember that when I was a kid. So that's what I got in Southern Skeins. This is really a nice subscription box. This is the first time I've ordered from them. I don't know if I'm gonna be ordering the September one, um, but I think in the future, I'll definitely order again from them. So here's the back of my iPad. So let me go ahead and put my new sticker on. So I like to put things that are my favorite things. So um, pelicans are definitely one of my favorite animals. If pelican, then you can. I make beautiful things with yarn. I like a glass of wine. Crafting from nine to wine. I thought that was cute. And then I have my Cloudy Nook Crochet right here. And then this one I like, OCD, Obsessive Crochet Disorder. I definitely have that. She believed she could, so she did. And I collect baby succulents. Life would suck without plants. And then I had to get this one, um, a hooker. And then all you need is yarn, is all you need. And that is so true. So I pretty much almost got my, um, back on my iPad filled up with stickers. Now let's check out how um, big my moss stitch um, scrappy blanket is coming along. And right now I'm at 43 inches. So let me show it to you. I am just loving this project. I just love how the color work is working out and I'm really glad that I'm putting the off-white stri strips in between. So my plan, the way I designed this, is I'm doing um, five rows of the off-white and then I do 25 rows and then another five rows. So that's how I'm going to work up this project. And for this project, I'm using a, a G hook and I got my little stitch marker right here clipped on so I don't forget. And I'm using a furl hook. It's like a dark green and it's real glittery. And I just love using the furl hooks. They, crochet up super fast because the neck here is really smooth. And the color I'm working on right now is kind of a dark gray color. So I got 43 inches. Now, <laughs> my weather where I live today, the high is going to be 115 degrees. So it's going to be super hot. Um, so I probably won't be working on this project um, since it's getting so big. I don't want to have it on my lap. So I think I am going to keep working on some amigurumis today. So there is my moss stitch blanket. When I was looking on the Canva app to do the ocean scene, I saw a picture of this and it was the ocean and in the waves I saw a seagull. So this was the actual picture of the ocean but then I kind of uh, outlined the seagull that I could see and then I filled in his wings with some pebbles and then I added his little legs. So that's how I came up with this uh, picture. So it was really fun. Thank you for watching my episode. I hope you all are doing well and I hope you guys are somewhat staying cool, especially since I'm in 115 degree weather. Bye for now until we meet again.